there's something about a good old AM signal that really just uh, sounds good. A nice warm sound. Here we're listening to uh, 1609 kilohertz. That's here in uh, European spacing. Uh, and that is a classic song by Donald Fagan, who I recently saw in concert playing a song. He didn't play in the concert, but which I would have loved to have heard, IGY. Um, from his Nightfly album. Uh, talking about the Nightfly and seven second delays. This is my latest toy. What on earth is that, Howard? Well, this is a very interesting locally sourced device, a AM radio transmitter, boosting out one watt of power. Very, very nice custom made item from Vin Tronics. Um, you can find them at the Vinatronics website. I'll try to put a link into the description uh, later on. Um, and what we've got here is the transmitter with all the digital display. It is uh, quartz locked, I think, or digitally locked. Uh, phase lock loop. I don't quite know what the terminology is. Different to FM, I guess. Um, and there's a matching, and, uh, matching system so I can match the power of the transmitter to the signal so I can actually match my antenna to produce the most um, output from the signal. So there we go. This is signal. So I've just got my, my music playing with my Winamp. I'm using a compressor software which is called Rocksteady. I'm filtering out the unnecessary frequencies and there's my playlist. And uh, pretty much anywhere in my house now I can tune into AM radio uh, of my own designation because I can't kind of stand all the adverts on the radio anymore so I just produce my own so if you're uh, into that kind of thing this is a great bit of fun the back of the transmitter has a dip switches so you can change the frequency so I've chosen the very end of the medium wave band where there's very little to interfere with because obviously you don't want to cause interference and uh, let's take a look at the outdoor antenna. Yeah, I scratched my head a while ago as to what to do about the antenna, but uh, I came up with a very cool solution, which was very rudely to drill a very fine hole through my window, enough for the one single piece of wire that uh, is the antenna. That's now buried under the um, overhang, whatever you call this, facade, facia board. And uh, it's very really tucked along with the other security camera wires and then it goes up. So at this point it's now strung along here. And this is what you would call traditionally a long wire antenna. Um, I'm guessing that this would probably be about um, 10 meters meters somewhere around there and over here it's because it's screwed into a plastic board I don't believe it should cause a problem with the earthing um, it's not the perfect antenna but it's by far the best AM antenna I've, uh, I've made and this uses a single core copper cable which you basically just string along and um, we're busy doing some building so the um, the uh, Antenna may have to be repositioned slightly, but right now there's nothing happening. And the one thing about AM radio is quite important is you've got to have a good earth. So I ran a separate cable. I bought an earthing rod um, online again from I think Amazon, one of these places. And this goes about four feet into the ground, into the earth literally. It's a copper pipe or whatever you call it, copper copper rod and that's connected to my earth cable and that purely is for the transmitter which is also then going through the earth cabling uh, along with the satellite it's not earth to anything else so that's just a bit of fun maybe what's quite nice about this transmitter is it's auto modulation so if there's a, a problem or the signal's too low it will amplify it or if you overdrive it, it will reduce it. Um, I'm not too sure the exact specifics of that, but um, it seems to do a pretty good job. And um, obviously, you must take your local uh, transmission laws into sort of uh, 
consideration because you might get into trouble with something of this power. Although, to be honest, I don't necessarily think if the range is, you know, 500 meters all around, I don't think that's too bad. It's probably actually a lot less, probably more like 100 meters. I don't know, but it's, it's, a, it's more than sufficient to cover a household and beyond. So I think at nighttime, I'd probably go further. But uh, I haven't tried nighttime broadcasting yet. I don't plan to use it all the time. It's purely just a bit of fun, a bit of uh, retro fun. Because I have a, l a lot of AM transmitters. Now I've got another one of these, or, which is a purely a, a antenna amplifier. And that I've got a AM stereo broadcaster, which I'm going to test out, which does the CCAM, sorry, CQAM, CCAM, I don't know how you pronounce it, CQAM, Motorola Stereo AM. Um, that is another experiment I'll need to try at some point, but um, that's sitting sitting up here waiting for its day. Um, and this takes basically the, 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 the modulated signal at low power, which is I think 100 milliwatts from there, passes it into here and then and amplifies it to the antenna. But that's a project for another day. But I think that that is pretty awesome. So Ventronics highly recommend really nice products. He does a 5 watt, I think, as well. Um, these are all for amateur use. They're not, they're not for, you know, professional use or anything like that. But I'm always a bit obsessed with the radio waves. And uh, this is just another nice little project. So check it out. Um, full marks from me on this one. Okay, cheers for now.